you're all keeping well on this one i'm going to keep it real don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy me waffling on and if you don't well that's fine too but this week I, as i said i want to keep it real there's a lot of love for supercars on youtube and that's great we love to see those things flying about they're beautiful bits of engineering but i think the cars that serve us very well are often forgotten about those cars that put up with us on a daily basis put up with our misuse and are just expected to work day in day out and do their thing so this week i'm again in the e320 cdi a great car really well put together and i want to focus on something very specific and that is the rest button rest button what on earth is that i hear you say some cars have them some cars don't this car absolutely has one but what on earth is it used for? Well, let's take a look at where it is. It's right there. Hopefully you can see that okay. The rest button doesn't actually mean I'd like to take a rest. So you press it and, and the car converts into a bed, a, a hotel or something, even though this car pretty much is a hotel on wheels. But the rest warmer is actually short for rest warmer, which is a German word. And if I pronounce that badly, please do excuse me. But that word, rest warmer, means residual heat. Okay, so, yep, in Germany, there is indeed a word for everything. Residual heat. Why on earth would I want a button with rest and residual heat capability? Well, it's very cool. And the guys in the engineering department have obviously thought about this and definitely has a very specific purpose. So let's take a scenario whereby you've gone down the train station on a very chilly winter's night to pick up a mate and that person is is late or the train is late 20 minutes late let's say so you're sat there in the car park and the car the heat is off everything starts to get cold so you've got two options you can turn the engine on and sit there with the engine ticking over burn fuel bad for the environment not good or you can use the rest button so how does it work well you press it and you'll see it fires up into the rest mode there so what does that actually do well it's a quite a warm day today uh, and we wouldn't need, have any need to use it. But on a cold winter's night, you've got all that warm water sat surrounding the, the nice warm engine, right? that engine block, right? So you also got a heater matrix and that heater matrix has warm air, uh, sorry, warm water in it and the air blows over that to get warm air into the cabin. So if you imagine turning the fan on, the warm air is going to fly through that heater matrix and cool it down very quickly indeed. And the car's going to get cold again quite quickly. So the rest button will actually fire up the water pump. So it will circulate that warm water around the warm engine block in, inside the jacket and get it into the heater matrix. So you've constantly got warm air being taken out of, warm water, sorry, being taken out of the engine block and and transferred through the heater matrix to keep the cabin warm and it will do this quite successfully for about 20 minutes i've tried it myself sat there you don't need the engine on for this you can just eat everything off ignition off press the rest button and everything fires up and it does work very well i've sat there waiting for a friend whilst gorging myself on the greg's on a cold winter morning and yes it absolutely keeps the cabin warm to about 20, 21, 22 Celsius, I think. Don't quote me exactly. But that's what it's all for. So if you've got a rest button and you've always wondered what on earth it's for, now you know. Probably useless in spring and summer, but if you're ever caught out on a cold winter's night, you're waiting for somebody to come along, then just use the rest button, keep the cabin warm without killing the environment. I hope that helps. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>